gig workers who have been relying on their unemployment checks may have to pay some of that money back. They may have been overpaid. As CBS consumer reporter and investigator Christine Lazar shows us, this could be a devastating blow to those who are trying to stay afloat during the pandemic. The stress level is uh, off the chart. Diane Chrisman believes she may have to pay back EDD between $5,500 and $6,500. They're asking for money from people who have no income. So it's just sort of um, an oxymoron, to be honest. Chrisman is an out of work Lyft driver. When she applied for pandemic unemployment assistance or PUA back in April, she says she was told to submit her 1099 as proof of income. As it turns out, independent contractors needed to report their net income, not gross income. Unfortunately, with pandemic unemployment assistance, overpayment has to be recouped. There's no waiver for that. Michelle Evermore is a senior researcher with the National Employment Law Project. She says at the beginning of the pandemic, the focus was on getting money out to the unemployed as quickly as possible. Because states focused rightly on processing old claims, um, it took a while for states to get around to, to identifying overpayments. So once they get there, it's been months, and people have gotten overpayments for a very long time. Greg Beavis calculated that he and his wife, both out of work independent contractors, could be on the hook for $13,000 in overpayments. $13,000 between a household that made under 60000 combined. Uh, is a lot of money. Beavis says they also believe they were to report their gross income when they applied for PUA. If we had known we didn't qualify for it, though, there's no way we would have uh, spent that money or even accepted it in the first place. Evermore says Congress could waive PUA overpayments in the next stimulus bill. She says about half of all people getting benefits right now are under the PUA, meaning millions could be affected by this nationwide. EDD did not answer any of our specific questions, but they did direct us to a section on the website that says those overpayments not related to fraud won't face any criminal penalties, but they will have to be paid back. Those affected will get a letter in the mail telling them how much they owe. Christine Lazar, KCAL 9 News.